Who's good parents? Dwayne Wade. He's a damn yes. good parent. Dwayne Wade, Gabrielle Union. Yeah. Really good parents. Uh, so y'all heard about this 12-year-old daughter now. Uh, mm -mm. Uh, well, he was born Zion. Uh -huh. uh, and now Zaya yeah. came out as transgender. Mm -hmm. She wants to be called Zaya now. Mm -hmm. And Dwayne Wade came out with a video and supporting his daughter now. And Gabrielle Union's done the same thing. And But you know, in society today, people still want to criticize. I, I, I think, it's, yeah. Oh, Be on his way. Crazy, people still so want, we, we live in a world, a, a society that I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's, a, I'm going to let you speak, but the ignorance or uneducated or whatnot. You look at a 12 year old and, you know, they have a right to feel the way they want to feel. Mm -hmm. But some people are saying that maybe you shouldn't push this on your child. And that's what they're saying about mm -hmm. Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union. I don't think this is anything that was pushed yes. on her. This is something that she felt mm -hmm. and she wanted to come out with and express herself. And as a parent, you should be there to support your child right. in doing something that is, if it's positive, as long as they're not doing anything to harm themselves. Right. And we can't laugh about it because, you know, some people, we don't know how to handle it. If it was your kid since you were laughing, Stevie, mm -hmm. how would you handle it, Playboy? If it was my kid? Yeah. I would handle it exactly how Dwayne Wade handled it. Mm -hmm. As a father, I still have my views. As a man, I still have my views. As a person, as an individual, I still have views? my views. I want to know what your my views, views are. Is. People are born the way they are. Mm -hmm. And if you decide that you don't want to do it that way and you want to do it that way, then you have that priority to or prerogative to do it. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, it's the same as deciding to get a tattoo. You decide you want to be a transgender. Like it does <clears> not affect me as an individual. Like you said. <clears throat> As long as it doesn't hurt anybody, it should not be a thing. Like, it, if that's not your decision, right. if that's not what I'm doing, homosexuality, all of it, it's like, why is it so controversial? Like, well, it, it shouldn't I, be. I, I think the, the, the key word is, I don't think it's a decision. I think it's just something. It's not like they wake up and say, hey, I'm deciding I want to be right. a woman today. I think it's something that, obviously, my views have changed over the years. Mm -hmm. after I've because I used to be one of those ignorant people, 25, 30 years, because it's the way I was raised. Right. And now I used to say, well, this is your choice. This is how you, you choose this lifestyle. And first of all, it's not a lifestyle, it's yeah. the way they were born. Right. I don't think anybody chooses to grow up and be scrutinized Thank the way you. people, transgender, LGBTQ uh, community is scrutinized. Yeah. I mean, especially transgenders, when you talk about 80% of transgenders contemplated suicide. Yeah contemplate suicide mm -hmm. and 40% have mm -hmm. actually tried right. to commit suicide. Right. Yeah. Why would you decide to do something like that? It's born. You're yeah. born like that. I just don't think it should be a spectacle. It is. And, and this is what I, I firmly believe that all of the things, all of the organizations and PETA and all, and even Black Lives Matter, I think that it should not be a spectacle. We're humanity. Let's just hang out and, and have on talk shows. And, and love people, like love, like what is this thing of, oh, it's a thing, it's not a thing. Well, here's the thing, you guys <laughs> jump in, here's the thing. Uh, not a thing. We don't live in a utopia. Right. Mm -hmm. The reason why it's a spectacle, because you got so many people who are ignorant out here have that opinion. have the opinion and want to say that they're... Uh, Kristen. Huh? Kristen. Yeah, they, they, they are less than the mongrels, mm -hmm. or whatever right. they want to, they want to treat them less than human. So that's the reason why we have to make it a thing so we can show, you know, put them on a pedestal and let them know, hey, you know what? This young lady or this young man, if he decides to become a young lady or the young lady becomes a young man, put them on a pedestal and let them know that we love them the right. same way. Right. Especially if you're a parent. Right. I think it's, I, I, I mean, again, I agree with Stevie. People are able to choose and do whatever it is that they want to do. I enjoy watching uh, Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle uh, use, what, use who they are mm -hmm. to make a statement um, because there's so many celebrities whose children may feel the same way and won't say anything or right. don't say anything. And here they are saying, hey, we're not afraid. This is who we are. This is our family. Zion wants to be Zaya, mm -hmm. and, and we love him. And if there's anybody else out there who's experiencing something like this with their children, you're not the only one. And I think they're starting an, an organization now mm -hmm. um, underneath the son's, the daughter's, the Zion. now daughter's yep. name, yep. Um, to just make awareness because there are kids out there who are, he's, what is he, 12? She's 12, 12, yeah, she's who, 12. Who, who, who actually do commit suicide. Yep. Because yeah. they are confused and because people do judge them based on what they were born to be. And, you know, it's it's making a statement and saying, hey, you're not by yourself. So, you know, and I'm a mom, too. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'm like, 
you know, I got a 19-year-old, a 14-year-old, and a 5-year-old. And some of my, you know, I look at my kids and I'm like, if they ever came to me and said something like this, I want them to be comfortable. Right. I mean, it's, it, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Mm. Mm. I think that, that it, it's a really difficult subject. You know, because I'm, I'm old school. I'm probably, you know, same age as you brothers right here. Jeez. And, yeah, I mean, it, Gee, oh. I'm just dealing with it, though. I'm just dealing with it as best I can. But, <laughs> Don't we still look good, though? Yes. Oh, thank you. Sir. But, but it's, it's a difficult subject because, you know, there are people that I talk to, you know, the conversation goes around, and I'm thinking, like, somebody said to me, you know, did he, <clears throat> did he love his son all the way, no matter what? And that's, that's really what matters. You're born and you just want to be loved. You got here to earth, whatever, however you got here, you mm -hmm. know, baby daddy, mama daddy, mm -hmm. marriage, whatever it was, you're here. Mm -hmm. I'm here now. Just just go ahead and just love me right. no matter what I am, you mm -hmm. know? And with, with what Stevie's saying, a lot of times it's, it becomes a spectacle. Mm -hmm. And that's an issue for a lot of people because I made a choice or I didn't have to make a choice. I, I love women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's my that's my choice, but it ain't on TV, or, or is it now? Well, well here's, a, here's the thing. So we, we, we're talking you know? about the spectacle of the platform. I think right. it's also important to use your platform to promote sometimes, to let people who don't have these it. platforms to understand that you're not alone. Yeah. Uh, my fiance is on a reality show, and her, do her daughter came out as fluid. Mm -hmm. And they did it on the reality show, one, to control the narrative, mm -hmm. because if somebody came out and tried <laughs> to expose them or whatever, then it becomes salacious or whatnot. Right. Right. But at the same time, to also allow other people her age to realize that you are not by yourself. Right. If you're feeling mm -hmm. a certain way, you should come out and basically be who you are and right. be proud of who you are. And mm -hmm. my fiance did a wonderful job of showing that support. Mm -hmm. And if I had my, one of my daughters came out and all of a sudden they wanted to be a lesbian or gay or whatnot, I would be the same thing. As yeah. long as my children are happy, I am happy. Right. That is all that matters to me. Right. And that's why if I have that platform, if they wanted to put it out there themselves, mm -hmm. go ahead. And they're going to need you. Go ahead. Yes. When it they it get starts into this world, right there at home. They're going to need you. It starts right there. <laughs> it sounds good. It, it sounds sound okay. good. <laughs> okay. It sounds good. It sound good. But, what, 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 but, but, what, the world, but, but the world ain't perfect. So at the end of the day, yeah. you know, there's a lot of haters out there. Yeah. And me, I wouldn't want to put my, my child on blast like that because the simple fact is that I know a lot of people are going to be coming at you. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a cruel world out there. You know, we, we're not talking about the flip side. <laughs> right. The flip right. side is what about the haters and this and that. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that's just my well, opinion. Well, let, let me, let me uh, uh, clarify something. If your child doesn't want to be exposed, right. I'm not saying that you use your platform and say put it out there. Right. You know, if that person, like... Uh, Zaya wanted to come out herself. You heard right. Dwayne even saying, you know, are you concerned about the haters mm -hmm. or whatever? Like, he understands. So yeah. she understands it's right. the world today or whatnot. Right. So I applaud that young lady mm -hmm. for it's, having... It's that love. Yeah. The parents are loving the child. They're loving them through it. Mm -hmm. They're loving, loving them And he's not the first. The Magic Johnson's son, uh, they, he, they, he came out like all yeah, the way... Yeah, EJ. Toward the end. Yeah. yeah. And it got a lot of backlash uh, because of it. And even still to this day, still like, you know, just smart remarks about it. Um, I think the sooner we present it, the, the, the better they, the more time they have to adapt to it and get used to it and just learn how to handle when, you know, the, the, the rush comes, you know, the, the, the cloud comes. Because it comes. The cloud mm -hmm. comes. Right. right. So. What are you going to say, Steve? Yeah, Steve. His deep breaths kill me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't subscribe. I like the way he holds his coffee. Hey, like, hey, like, with like, the two like, fingers when he dangles it. I don't subscribe to, to the sensitivity of society. Mm -hmm. I don't subscribe to it. Uh, homosexuality is a prime example of me not subscribing to the sensitivity. Um, it, hom the act of being homosexual is love in, in physical relations with the same sex. That does not affect me. So why is it a thing for my life? I won't judge you mm -hmm. or treat you any differently than because that's your private personal business. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? There's not a thing like I, I said, you said, we're, we don't live in a utopia. Well, I do. And which, what I mean by that is that the struggle that I represented where I come from, there's no excuse, there's no platform, there's, no, there's nothing, there's prison and death. That's where I come mm -hmm. from. Mm -hmm. So to, to now be a part of society and be a productive member in society and try to be a comedian and pay taxes and all of this, and I look at the sensitivity of what people complain about, there's children with cancer. Fuck that hair. Like, that's genuinely where I come from. Mm -hmm. so, so when I give my opinion, and it's not backed up on my experiences in life, then I'm judged by everybody else because I'm not sensitive. No, no, no. What I, what I mean by judged by everyone else is 
whether you agree or not, is one thing. But to now then change your opinion of me based on how I view things. I viewed you away the first time. I told my best friend, Donnie just, he just was like, a, he just sunned me and it was weird. But today, I'm gonna go in with a different perspective. I'm gonna give him a fair shot at who he really is, because mm -hmm. I know that that situation was different and maybe I just was wrong timing. So I'm gonna start over, but people don't start over. Oh, Donnie, uh, duh, duh. like that's not, like people do that and that, we need to stop doing that. Let me and tell I, you something. Yeah, what? I was you, player, what? okay? So I was you. So when I get at you, I'm, I'm looking at you as a, as a little brother. You know what I mean? Trying to teach you something. You know what right. I mean? So I see you come dress fly. Right. You know, out of so respect out for of our respect, demonstration. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so sure. at the yeah. end of the day, when I'm talking to you, I respect you because I was you. So I don't want you to ever think that I was looking down on you. You feel what I'm saying? Right. All right? <laughs> yes, sir. Right. Bottom line is, oh, it got really, really deep. Um, we needed it. Yeah, we, it is. It, bottom line is, let's get to know each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's the biggest whoever problem that we are. have in society, yeah. whoever you are. You know, be proud yeah. to be who you are and not be afraid. You know, you got the right to your opinion. Everybody's right. had a right to their opinion, whatever. Can't judge somebody, like you said, Donnie could have been having a bad day. You mm -hmm. can't judge him based on his entire life. Right. right. You know, somebody can, it, it, sometimes it's, uh, it's, it's an aberration, sometimes it's the norm. You right. know what I mean? Sometimes I might just, I might not smile that day or whatever. You might, Mike Hill's mm -hmm. an asshole. But for the rest of the people that know me. But you know what? I like Stevie. I understand Stevie. You know what I mean? So we can get at each other all day because he comes from the same side of the block I come from. And it's the thing with us. We read each other Word. all day mm -hmm. long. Word, for he sure. know I'm reading him and mm -hmm. he read me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So he know what it is. Don't you, Stevie? For sure. I asked about you. And they was like, he's just like you. And I was like, all right. <laughs> I'm going to just start over then. Aww. But, there's, but a lot of people can't do that. And I think that that's uh, what... When you kept saying it's me, it's me, it's me, but that's just you and your world. I wish people could respond to things the way you could, and I wish people could think the way that you think. But the, rea the reality is, they don't. Mm -hmm. You're like a, mm -hmm. you're like a unicorn. Yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, you know what the problem is. The, 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 the old always think they can chastise the young. You yeah. know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. when I was his age, I was just like it. I would have said the same thing. He this said nigga to me. is your age. I'm like, no, what are you talking about? His age? No, he's not. Baby, I'm he's not too young, young though. I am. I got a little season in there. Yeah, he got a little season. Forty-seven. Stevie ain't no damn forty. <laughs> Stevie in his 30s, you know what I mean? I'm 34. Yeah, so when, oh, yeah, Stevie's 34, 34 years old, so I'm way over when Stevie was, whatever Stevie was doing, I was doing 20-something years ago. Mm -hmm. So I understand mm -hmm. Stevie. You I just want to make a difference. I feel like we all are born right. with gifts. Yeah. And my gift of uh, the way I see life and uh, how I understand it, I should share it on whatever platform is right. given to me. Right. No. That's just really what yeah. I appreciate. Right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Share, share the way you're supposed to, man. Yes, sir. Share on this one right now, Corinne Stephens, okay. uh, Superhead. She pregnant. Y'all know who Superhead is? Yes. Who don't? Uh, <laughs> this smile he just gave. Who don't? <laughs> uh, so uh, she's pregnant with her longtime boyfriend, uh, Everett Taylor. Uh, mm -hmm. And apparently, uh, I don't know if he was thrilled about the announcement that she was mm -hmm. pregnant, but then he started putting some stuff on uh, social media, making it seem like he was going to commit suicide. Oh. No. Yeah. Um, now he came back. Huh? Because she's pregnant? Oh, that's crazy. So she said, right? said it was like uh, the pregnancy didn't, well, no, she said it, she didn't have anything to do with it, but I guess she's been taking through him through a lot of stuff, and then she came back on social media saying we're going back and forth. It's real. Why the hell we care about yeah, this but why shit? You, exactly. Why <laughs> you got to take it to social media anyway for a yeah. baby? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. that's crazy to me. Yeah. Did no, he really try to kill himself, Mike? That, no, well, it, it seemed like he was trying to kill himself by the stuff he was saying he on was social saying, yeah. media. So people were hitting him up, like, go get help or is whatever. Is it because it's, it's she's pregnant or is it her? Or is it because he not want to have a baby But by they've her? been together <laughs> for a saying. long time. I was just time. trying to say, you know, um, was on its way. Yeah, I, I don't know. So um, it's, it's just it's crazy to Is it to because be of who she is? Why are we talking about it? Like, is it because it's Superhead or? That's the only reason we're talking about this topic right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, people, people change. Like, you know, people do stuff. She's written she books. Has, yeah, she's yeah. on a radio station right now. I, people change. If you're embarrassed to have a child by someone that all the celebrities said that they entertained at some point in time, you knew that when you were sleeping with her. You've been her yeah. spouse for you years. Okay, well, God can I ask you a question? If you knew somebody had that, that kind of history. You raw dog mm. Not just that kind of history, you know, vaginally, but mm -hmm. you've seen her skills. Okay. Right. You That's know, why you're there. You know what she can do, right? So, so, <laughs> I, want ask, I want to ask my man Steve, what do you think she mad about Stevie? You mad about you think you mad because the head ain't good no more? This is oh gosh. It ain't Stevie business. Okay. It's Stevie don't like no. I don't care about this. One. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one, like it's like what I don't even know how to I don't care about this one. 
Right. Why not, Stevie? Because she just sucks dick good, <laughs> and that's it. Okay, you do it good. Okay. And then like, what else though? About like, you're now you're pregnant. Cool. But she's probably she's done so many other things. Like, like she's uh, yeah. school. She's she, well, she's called she, Superhead Tara. But she was called Superhead. She will never get rid of that. Never never that. That's never. I mean, that will always. Stick but that goes her. back to that goes back to bullying in society. That you know, we all have done things when we were young that we're not proud of. We just didn't do it in the limelight of social media or entertainment. I could you date a porn star, right a male porn star, if you knew he was like just raw dogging? Could you? I, no, I wouldn't. But oh, somebody, no, but, this, but somebody did. Somebody, a, yeah, a lot of people do. I'm just saying, it's like a lot of people still, regardless, if you have that kind of history, sometimes mm -hmm. people just won't let it go. It's kind of hard for you to be in a, a sustainable well, clearly relationship. Clearly, he let go because she's pregnant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he let go too much, didn't he? <laughs>